Hello, I am Dominic and I'm going to present to you how we model word sense structure in word usage graphs with the weighted stochastic block model. The traditional approach to annotate word senses are binary assignments of individual word usages to word sense descriptions. These are not optimal because um, it requires manual effort to create sense descriptions, which we would like to avoid if possible, and it ignores the evidence on gradedness of word meaning because the assignments are binary. An alternative are pairwise semantic proximity judgments of word use pairs. We can represent these use pair judgments in a weighted graph and then we can infer senses on this graph by some clustering procedure rather than directly annotating the senses as in binary sense description assignments. However, we need a clustering procedure for that. What we do in this paper is to propose to use the weighted stochastic block model for this clustering of word usage graphs. This is a real example from the data set which we use. We use the German and English subsets of the Semival 2020 Task 1 uh, word usage graph data set. And this example here corresponds to the word usage graph for German Zersetzen. As we can see already visually, there's a quite intuitive cluster structure present in this graph, determined by the semantic proximities of the nodes. However, this doesn't have to be the case always. This is another example for the word Abgesang, German word. And here it's already much less clear what should be the appropriate cluster structure underlying this graph. There are also examples like German Festspiel, which is very clear. Note that we only have high edges, black edges in this graph, and no low edges, which means that all nodes should probably have the same sense. The model we use to cluster the graphs is the weighted stochastic block model. This is a generative probabilistic model for random graphs, which means that it belongs to a class of models that assumes that graphs are generated by sampling from a probabilistic model. It is not so popular in computational linguistics, but more in biology, physics, and the social sciences. The basic assumption is that it models nodes as part of blocks. And these block assignments, or cluster assignments, are parameters of the model, so they can be inferred. Another important assumption is that it assumes that nodes in the same block are stochastically equivalent. This means that edges and edge weights between the nodes from different blocks are sampled from only one distribution, which is the same distribution for all uh, nodes in these blocks. What are the advantages? Why do we do that? It allows model selection, most importantly, in the absence of ground truth senses. So we saw structures above which have an unclear cluster structure. The sense structure is not clear. And we would like to infer this structure
from the observed data in a principled way. This is what the weighted stochastic block model gives us. It captures the gradedness of word meaning by allowing flexible distributions between blocks. So blocks can be more or less um, semantically related to each other. It allows to simulate new data, realistic data from the fitted models. And it has extensions that allow for example uh, for block overlap or sense overlap, which is um, a hypothesis from lexical semantics. Now how do we infer the block structure on the observed graphs? We maximize the Bayesian posterior probability of the block assignment given the observed graph A and the observed edge weights X. And this uh, posterior probability is computed by multiplying the likelihood of the edge weights with the likelihood of the unweighted graph and the prior probability of the parameters, the block assignments, and dividing this by the evidence, which is the total probability of the data summed over all model parameters. We perform all experiments with graph tool, which you can find here. And we provide additional code under this link. This quantity cannot be computed exactly, so we need to approximate it. And for this, we use a standard approximator from graph tool, it's implemented in graph tool, which is the multi-level agglomerative Markov chain Monte Carlo algorithm. We now perform model checking in order to understand whether the inferred model parameters are reasonable. We start by comparing the block assignments to block assignments obtained on the same data, on the same graphs, but with a different clustering algorithm. For this, we use the clustering algorithm used by the creators of the data set, the SigmaVal data set. They used correlation clustering. On the x-axis in this plot, we see all graphs from the data set. On the y-axis, we see accuracy between the cluster assignments of the weighted stochastic block model and the semival correlation clustering method. As we can see, correspondence is often very high. For about half of the graphs, the cluster accuracy is above 0 0.9. But then there's a number of graphs for which the accuracy is rather low. Our example Festspiel is around this area. It has a very high correspondence. Nearly the same cluster assignments are obtained with the, with the two methods. The example Zersetzen is around this area. Correspondence is still rather high, although there are some disagreements. Abgesang is in this area around an accuracy of 0 0.6, which is a rather low correspondence. In another approach to model checking, we resample the full graph. For this, we remove all edge weights from the graph and then resample each edge weight from the inferred model. In an ideal case, the resampled graph would retain all structural properties of the observed graph. As we can already see here, for the predicted or the sampled graph for Zersetzen, this is not the case for many of the graphs. As we can see here, we have many black edges between the two blocks 
which we do not have in the observed graph. Similarly for Abgesang, but not so much for Festspiel. For Festspiel, we were able to resample a graph that is very closely resembling the observed graph. We conclude. We inferred sense structure on word usage graphs by exploiting patterns of semantic proximity. Model selection allowed us to infer this sense structure in a principled way by selecting the model with the parameters which best describe the data. In the same way, this model can now be rigorously compared to other probabilistic models, like for example Gaussian mixture models. The inferred structures mostly reflected intuitive sense distinctions. However, the structural properties of the observed graphs were not always very well preserved. We concluded that we need more flexible distributions for edge weights to solve this problem. The inferred models can now be used for simulation of realistic word usage graphs. In the future, we want to compare models which allow sense overlap, block overlap, to models which do not allow block overlap. 